Hey guys, welcome back. I'm on the River Calder today, in uh, just outside Halifax in Yorkshire, England, uh, fishing uh, fishing on the river. Uh, it's the first time I've been out for a few months, uh, so I thought I'd just uh, record a bit of footage and uh, show you my approaches to the river and go through some tactics and perhaps share some flies as well if we're, if we're successful on the day. So guys, just before we start, I'll take you through the outfits that I've got set up. Um, starting with an nymph rod, I've got a 10 foot two weight uh, this one's a Maxia SX4 and that's set up with a um, 11 foot fine leader this is 0.14 um, leading onto a indicator section which is the same diameter uh, and then we've got 0.08 tippet with two flies on there two, uh, two bead head nymphs that's going to be the uh, nymph and outfit I'll start with uh, when I get up to the head of the run here in the faster water my other outfit is a dry fly rod, it's a 9 foot 3 Hardy Zenith Syntrix and that's got a Vivarelli automatic reel on there which I like to use on the uh, dry fly rods um, and on that there is a 18 foot so a leader that's twice the length of the rod uh, tapered down to 0 0.09 tippet and uh, I'll just start on something quite buoyant, a uh, big sedge fly, see whether that will bring them up. So guys, this is the stretch I'm starting on. It's a typical uh, run on this river. Got a nice riffly head, gently going down under the trees, getting slower and slower as we go down onto a bend down the bottom. Uh, now there's a few different ways to approach this type of, uh, type of beat. Um, what I tend to do is use the uh, least obtrusive or least aggressive tactic first. Uh, so that'll be things on the surface or just under the surface, for example, dry flies or some wet flies, some spiders, and uh, get gradually more aggressive with, uh, with the tactics and uh, perhaps finish off by fishing things like uh, flexi-floss worms, rubber worms, basically, or um, streamers even. Um, so I think what we'll start with is uh, probably some dry flies. There's a few fly hatching off. There's quite a lot of midge in the trees and uh, there's the odd caddis kicking around. So I think we'll start uh, towards the... Um, Put the bend down there with some dry flies, work our way up and then uh, give some limbs a go as we get into the faster water at the head. Give the dry flies a go. A quick, uh, quick ten minutes through the pool, and uh, they haven't been particularly effective. Just one fish we've lost. Um, that's probably a sign of the amount of rain. We had quite a bit of rain in the river this morning, um, and perhaps that's pushed them down towards the uh, the riverbed a little bit. Um, so we'll give the nymphs a go through the same bit of water, and uh, see how we get on with those. Um, so before I start nymphing, um, some of you might have seen the video I did in terms of how you go about making some of this neon indicator wax. And a few people ask me what you do, how do you actually apply it? Um, now, you may just be able to see that, that's the indicator section of, of my leader. Uh, it's very fine, it's 0 0.14, um, which is incredibly fine. So it's quite difficult to see in some lights. Um, so you can just use this indicator wax, just rub it onto the indicator section. And you can see it's a lot more visible than it was without the wax on it. That just helps you to uh, detect some strikes.
new fish starting to rise or small ground on the pill tails. Just responding quite nicely to this sedge hatch that's going on. Let's give them a go. So that's it for me today, you've been out for two or three hours, um, eventually managed to find a few fish and, and catch them on nymphs. Uh, there's the odd fish rising on the uh, pull tails, I uh, pick up a few grail on dries in the end. Um, but uh, I'd say the main tactic for today has been nymph fishing and uh, in particular orange bead nymphs, uh, they've worked particularly well. So um, that's it for me today, I'll put a picture of the flies up that I caught on and uh, give them a go, see how you get on. See you again next time.